What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Today I'm going to talk about cardio. There's a lot of confusion over whether you can do cardio and lift weights at the same time or if they conflict with one another. There are only two ways cardio can become a problem and have negative effects on your strength training. The first one is if you don't eat enough. If you don't eat enough to make up for the calories burned, then you will lose weight. It's inevitable. Assuming you're eating at your maintenance calories, that's exactly what will happen and that's how you see people have negative effects and then they usually blame the cardio for their weight loss but in actuality weight loss is just calories in versus calories out so now you're increasing calories out and if you also increase calories in then there's no issue the second possible conflict is a bit trickier and it's if cardio is affecting your recovery and this applies to people who have very specific goals with their cardio Let's say you're trying to set a 5K personal record. You're trying to run 16 minutes flat or faster. If you do this and set out for a goal like this, you will have issues with your strength training. You can't pursue both strength and endurance to their maximum at the same time. It's inevitable that you'll have to choose one at that level. But most people are not trying to do this. Most people just do cardio three to four times a week, very light, you know, bike for 15 minutes. There's absolutely no way that that's going to detract from your gains made in the weight room, assuming the diet is on point, as I previously mentioned. Honestly, in my opinion, everyone should do some amount of cardio. I think a lot of times lifters use lifting weights as an excuse to do no cardio, and I think that this is a very big mistake. Remember, you want to take care of yourself, of your body, in a holistic approach in order to stay healthy. So taking care of your cardiovascular health should be important to you no matter what. Honestly, I think even as a strength athlete, it helps a little bit just to be in somewhat decent shape. I personally believe it can have positive effects on work capacity and recovery. So my recommendation for cardio is light cardio three to four times a week. And then if you can, sprint one to two times a week, I'd say. I've already made a video before about sprinting, and sprinting actually coincides best with lifting weights because it's the same systems used, it fast twitch muscle fibers, it also has some positive hormonal benefits, and overall it's just great for also developing flexibility and just general athleticism and explosiveness. But remember, doing slow cardio is better than doing nothing. And I see that a lot of people say that they should do sprints and say that they themselves do sprints, and then they don't actually ever do it because sometimes it's just harder to recover from sprint workouts, and it's harder to get motivated for it. So if you just want to bike every, you know, every two to three times a week, that's not a bad idea. Just make sure you're doing some form of cardio to stay healthy. Oh, and by the way, if you want anecdotal evidence about this issue, I actually played basketball for four hours every day for a long period of time while lifting weights and I saw absolutely no negative effects. But I can't emphasize enough that I ate a ridiculous amount of calories, probably 4,000 to 4,500 calories every single day. So remember, I would rather have you do cardio and up your calories and let's say your maintenance be at 2,500 calories rather than just eat 2,000 calories and be less healthy but stay at the same body weight. It's about getting stronger and being healthy for the long run to be successful. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace. Cause I put my pain, my heart, my soul, my faith in this. Does anyone feel like how I feel? Then you can relate to this.